I found a world that is populated with faces I had never seen before. They scream to be let out, to get at their tormentors. Hundreds of faces, none of them begging anymore, none of them willing to be locked up again. It has been a long time that I have said nothing, that I have done nothing. I have grown tired. If only I had more hands. But what would more hands give me? More bars to hold on to. More locks for my fingers to feed. I have no secrets left to confess. No reasons to give. Whatever I give to you, I gave to someone else before. Second-hand clothes that I picked up and passed on. A few new stains on them. I've been hollowed out. They took everything away and gave me these walls to worship. The days go by, each one marked on covered planks. I spend months staring at the same wall, thinking over and over the same thing. Same fears that drive me. Piccolo's dead. And from his death came everything. What sane man has said anything worth listening to? The event is greater than the reason. One by one, they wander into my cell at night. They drift in, unwanted, uncared for. The Reverend, Mama Spider, Amil, Piccolo. Torn, savaged, gnawed at like steel claws that ripped them to shreds. Chiseled faces that have lifted from the sea to laugh. They heard a world was being formed from the beginning and I was going to choose the faces and the voices that would populate it. They come one after another, each one casting his last look as he vanishes from where he came. Dazzled by the screams of Luther that soon there will be a champion amongst us, an eternal champion mounted on a red sorrow, aprons of steel, concrete towers crumbling beneath the farting stallion's golden shod hooves. The Reverend will wear paper chains. Luther that day will be the judge. The top tiers emptied. All the faces gone. Amiel standing, his hands raised, screaming. Sunday, they'll make me a saint. The drabness of the prison walls. The colorless world that I've been subjected to for so long. Has given me a desire to use all the colors I can remember. I feel good in being part of this trial. I feel good that it's not me who's being tried and that it's Piccolo who is to get hung. It is by the will and desire of all those who lived and died in this hole that you will be given the honor of representing us from now till doomsday. Life has condemned you to oblivion. 
but we are going to let you live to the end of mankind. They shall forget. They shall forget the man and speak only of the saints. You will be remembered. When the last man looks at the burning sun and falls to his knees whispering, Saint Piccolo, they will have forgotten us, but not you. Patron saint of the men of the night, father to thieves and murderers. Off will come the shirts to show the tattoos carved upon their chests. And this court shall be adorned with great honors, and it shall be talked about, and it shall be mentioned that we have made another man, more than just a man who was born to die, we have made you a man who must die. Oh, Piccolo! <laughs> you have a saint, you bastards. Get his mother here. If he has none, then find one. And some old woman who weeps for her son, so that all those who see it will cry and never know why. The imagination has no sex. It has no form. It has no full character. A pair of shoes could be your father. It could have been your lover who we're looking at. It could be whatever we want it to be. Your son's shoes. Look at them, Mama. and see what they tell you. They'll give you some answer at least. An answer that will not be taken as that of Piccolo, but only as the shoes that Piccolo wore. Oh. <sighs> well, what do you want to know? Whatever it is you want to say, say it to me. Is it a uh, lament that you have? No. Not a lament. Oh, then it could be that you have been wronged by someone. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. I've been wronged by the offspring I had. <laughs> you could not be afraid as I sit here in front of you to tell me exactly what it is that you feel. I feel it, a horror that has possessed me, greater than I've ever felt before. Oh, this is exactly what I want you to tell us, if you can. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> at my horror? <laughs> no, <laughs> the fact that you're going to tell me, and I'm going to listen. Oh. Oh. One day I was released. They gave me a Jody suit and $150. Oh, I shouldn't forget the bus ticket to Frisco. 
The man let me go. He said they had the wrong face. They took it off and folded it like a flag and handed me back my own. But I couldn't recognize the white mask they gave me. The man opened the door and let me walk out wearing my white mask. I spent the rest of the years trying to fill the empty regions of clay with faded pencil marks. Trying to remember where each line went. From patches of memory and frozen thoughts, I reconstructed the face again. It resembled what they took from me. But it never was mine. They had let me forget what I had looked like.